What's going on YouTube? It's Daniel, back at it again. And today, I wanted to start a new series where I start with zero dollars to my name and I try to grow from zero dollars into, you know, an infinite amount of money. So that's the goal. Obviously, that probably won't happen, but it's just kind of to show you guys and show myself and prove to myself that you don't need any money at all, really, to start making money online. And, you know, while all the people and all the, you know, quotes are like, you know, it takes money to make money, there is truth to that. You know, a lot of times if you have more money, you can invest it and make more back. But in order to just get started, you know, because a lot of people have the excuse, and I do too sometimes, of I don't have any money or, you know, I can't start that because I don't have enough to buy the course or I can't you know, quit my job because I don't have enough money in my bank to support myself and take the leap, you know. And yeah, that's true. A lot of us don't. But hopefully I can prove to you guys through this series that anything's possible. And, you know, whether your wallet has lots of money in it or it's empty like mine, you can kind of progress towards your goals and move in the right direction and be making money the entire time. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys the best ways to make money when you don't have any to start. Without further ado, if you guys are new, please subscribe, leave a like, and let's get into the video. So the best way that I know of to make money when you have literally no money in your pocket is to find something valuable around your house. So obviously, you're going to have to have some stuff around your house that you're willing to sell to do this method. If not, I will show you in method two. If not, you should skip ahead to method two. And method two kind of shows you a way to use other people's stuff to sell that and make money off of that if you don't have anything in your own home that you want to sell. But most people that I know at least want to get rid of a bunch of stuff in their house anyways. So, so that brings us to the best method, which is selling stuff that you own so just look around your room look around your apartment look around your home anything that you guys bought you obviously bought because you wanted so there are millions and millions of people in America or billions in the world that would probably buy the used version of what you bought previously so just look around you know find something that you don't use anymore or find something that you think is still valuable and we can list it on eBay or Amazon or the Facebook marketplace or even sell it, you know, by hand like in person at a garage sale. It's really up to you guys. Different methods are better for different things. Like if you're selling something brand new, Amazon is typically a good way to go. But if it's used, you would probably want to go on eBay or the Facebook marketplace. So whatever you guys prefer for the marketplace, but Bottom line, you probably have a bunch of stuff lying around your house, so I want you guys to go walk around your house, find stuff that you'd be willing to sell, and I want you guys to partake in this challenge with me. So I will be back real quick. I'm just going to go look around my room and just find a couple things that I think would be profitable items to sell online. See you in a second. Alright, so I got a few items here on my bed that I'm not going to use anymore that I would be willing to sell, so we'll start off. We have... A couple of these for dummies books and I think I got some of these for Christmas or birthdays a couple years ago and you know so I don't know if they're the most current versions of these books but they're in pretty good shape no like writing or anything on the inside they would definitely be willing they would definitely be good things to sell online so I have three of them here and I am going to and I'm going to check the prices on all of these items after we're done, or after I'm done showing you. And here I have a laptop bag. So this is an in-case 13-inch laptop case, and it doesn't have the strap, unfortunately, but still think I'll be able to sell this for a little bit of money online. So we have those two. Here we have a Sonic Boom clock, and my dad actually got this for me a couple years ago when I was having trouble getting up for school but I never actually used it as you can tell it is brand new still wrapped in the box so can see if this is on Amazon and ship it in for FBA or if not can put it on eBay and here we have a Tennessee hat and obviously it's got a little dust here but I can just clean that up 
But yeah, I think I could probably get, you know, a couple dollars for this on eBay. Not really sure about the prices on all these. I'm going to check that and go over that with you on the computer after I'm done showing you. And here we have some Margaritaville boat shoes. And I believe these are a size 10. They are a size 9 and a half. So I definitely think I could sell these online. These are in pretty good condition. I can clean them up a little bit. You know, get the bottoms a little cleaner. But other than that, they're in really good shape. Alright guys, so now if you've taken pictures of your items and you made sure they're very high quality and they look very nice, then we can move on to actually listing your item on eBay. So the easiest way to start is you just make an account, log in, and you go to My eBay. Actually, you can just go to Sell right here. This is quicker. So you click Sell. So basically, what are you selling? So the first item I'm going to be listing <clears throat> I'm going to be listing the Sonic Boom and it's an alarm clock for deep sleepers so basically I will just type in Sonic actually Sonic Bomb, so, sorry not Sonic Boom so we'll type in Sonic Bomb and look here's a bunch of them these are obviously all the same thing as you can see same thing that I have so I will just click one and since mine is new I'm gonna click new I have never used it before I've just opened it to take pictures so we'll click new and it'll load the next page and so this is the title and usually you can just leave this like it is and then we can add photos so I don't have my conf my photos actually on here but you can just click add from computer and then you know find your photos on your desktop or wherever and just throw them in there and you can pick your main photo etc and then these are all the different like specifics of the item so you can just double check these make sure they all look good and match your item and in my case they all look good so then down here in the title or sorry in the description we can just type you know type a little bit of about your item type some features or you can type like new inbox never used or you know you can just type something like that a lot of people will type like if there's any scratches or anything on it or just be like you know used once comma looks like new just something like that and then add some features for some keywords and then you can just keep scrolling down and it'll tell you like the market range that these are typically going for for uh, different auctions so it'll automatically put you on an auction and then you can add a buy it now or you can click this make changes and, and you can basically set a buy it now price to add on to your auction so you can start the auction at 1093 and basically it's just bids until your listing ends or unless somebody buys it now so say I had this for 1999 and I had the 1093 starting price for seven days that means that basically it's gonna be this price and then if someone bids 1094 it'll be 1094 and it'll still be open for bid until this time runs out so it could go up to like $25 and people could keep bidding a lot of times you'll get into a bidding war with the last like five minutes or so on your listing and then someone could just end it by saying, you know, I'm going to pay the buy now price and they click it and then they buy it and then the listing ends. Or you can just go to buy now with offers. And this basically just disregards the whole bidding process and you just put a, you know, solid price that you want for the item. And then people can send you offers and you can just decline or counter offer and do things like that. So you don't have anyone, you know, just bidding on your item. You don't have a chance of your item going for less than what you want it for, to go for. So once you have a good price and it kind of just gives you, you know, a good range. So obviously with the auction, you have a chance to go above this, but I'm going to say buy now $24. That sounds good to me. And then delivery time. So basically you can pick, you know, if you want to offer free shipping, then you just, you know, take the fee of uh, shipping and it'll kind of tell you. An estimated price so if you do priority mail one through business days through USPS it'll be about seven to thirteen dollars 
and you can offer free shipping or you can if they're local allow local pickup kind of like Craigslist or the Facebook marketplace and you can pick if you want to sell to international people or not I usually don't because the shipping costs are just outrageous and there's usually enough people looking for it in the US and I usually offer free shipping and I'll make my listing a little bit higher so maybe make this like you know twenty seven ninety nine or something like that and I'll pay like the seven dollars for shipping and make twenty bucks on it cuz I just found the item in my closet and I'm selling it you know and after we do that then we'll just scroll down make sure our PayPal email is in there and then we list it and then it just goes up on the eBay marketplace and people will find it you can check your views on it and you can check your uh, watchers so you can have people like watch your item and that basically just means that they saved it in like their shopping feed so they can keep checking in on it as the listing you know time frame goes down and down and if they decide to buy it it's right there for them to buy but other than that that's all you really have to do and then they buy it and they will show up as uh, sold their item will show up as sold in your eBay account and you just go print shipping label and you can either just write it on the package or print it out and then you know packaging tape stick it right on the package and go to the post office mail it out and then your PayPal should get a payment and make sure one thing to make sure of is don't ship an item unless you've gotten paid I've done that before in the past I actually sold uh, my PlayStation 4 like three years ago and I shipped it before I got paid and that was such a stupid mistake and I actually paid forty dollars to have the shipping uh, stopped before I got there and I got the PlayStation back and then sold it again so I lost like forty dollars profit on that but anyways make sure that you don't ship before you get paid make sure you're paid and then once you're paid ship it and you basically just got you know money for stuff that you are never gonna use that's just been sitting in your closet so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm actually going to be launching a couple other videos that show you how to do very similar things. One's going to be on the Facebook Marketplace and how to find items on there and flip them for online. And then I'll also do another one which is kind of just going to retail stores and doing more bulk purchases and then doing uh, FBA on Amazon with them or just selling them on eBay. But basically any kind of retail arbitrage or product flipping or whatever you want to call it is a really good way to make quick cash and I just wanted to show you guys kind of my experience with it and how you can do the same thing and just start making you know small flips and then eventually once you've made flips that are worth like ten dollars twenty dollars you can buy more expensive items and start making bigger flop and start making bigger profits and you can kind of just scale it up honestly you have to spend a lot of time searching and picking your products and you know mailing them out making the listings so it's obviously not the best use of your time, but you kind of have to do something like this in order to get the capital to be able to do stuff like Amazon and affiliate marketing. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.